Well, all right, guys. As you can tell, this Thanksgiving day, I've made some progress on the Buick. I finished hooking up the oil pressure sending line. I managed to rig up a fitting that'll work. I know it looks a little crappy the way I got it routed. I'll clean that up. I'll probably shorten it and run it in there a little neater. Um, set the timing with a vacuum gauge because it doesn't like it when I set it with a timing light. The idle's off and it pops and whatnot. It's not happy. So I just put a vacuum gauge on it, tune it to peak vacuum. I get about 20 and a half inches of vacuum, which is pretty good for an 84 year old motor that's never been apart, I think. Um, oil pressure is still good, 40 PSI. She seems happy. No fuel leaks. One minor oil leak I gotta come back and fix. Right here on the corner of this rocker cover. I put the gasket on when it was really cold out here and uh, it didn't really stick, so it leaks just a little bit. I'll probably pop that cover back off and have up a new gasket real quick and throw it on. Not a big deal. The big news, for me anyway, is no freaking exhaust leaks on the manifolds. Uh, the car is a lot quieter. It doesn't smell when you go down the road, which is nice. Doesn't seem to be any vacuum leaks. There is one minor exhaust leak right here at this interface. And I'll just get a little thicker gasket. That'll take care of that. Um, which is probably what you, if you hear an exhaust leak, that's what you're hearing. I gotta hook the hand throttle back up. Get the horns cleaned up, painted up, get those back on. Um, a few other minor loose ends to clean up here and there. But nothing too crazy. Um, went down the road fine. Seemed to have a little more power. I'm sure I had vacuum leaks. Um, but there's still plenty that needs to be do. Ne excuse me, needs to be done. Um, oh, I gotta reattach the wiring harnesses to the firewall. Uh, a few other things like that. But if all this turns out to be okay, I wanna put a few hundred miles on the car and then start planning for paint. So that's gonna mean the nose coming off, radiator coming out of the nose, grill coming off the body, which scares me because that grill is basically made of unobtainium. You can't get it, and if you can, it's literally thousands of dollars. So that ought to be fun. Doors coming off, stripping the dash, Probably pop the rear fenders and then start the prep for paint. So we'll paint the doors, the nose, the fenders. Probably separate. It's it's black. It's gonna be base coat, clear coat, black. So black is black. So I'm not worried about shooting them at different times. Uh, and I got a buddy who I really trust who's gonna help me out with that. Then we'll haul the body up there, shoot the body, bring it home, put it all together. I hope it'll look somewhat decent. It'll still have crappy chrome, but at this time there's not a lot I can do about. Um, but it'll be better than it was and hopefully it'll be a fun driver so yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick update where I'm at and uh, hopefully I'll be posting in a few days with a little bit more of what I've done what I'm doing what I plan on doing because it seems to change daily um, yeah so until then be safe hang in there and uh, yeah Sorry for my garage being a mess.